Well, you could see that cameraman had a great instinct in shooting, very courageous shooting. And he would let him go out of frame. He knew he was coming back in, you know. I mean, he, he, he instead of following him everywhere, you know, handheld, beautiful work. And you saw that rack focusing between the two singers, between the, it's just beautiful work. And he just gets right into it. He feels the music. And um, I love the big close-ups on his face. I mean, it just, it just, he's got a, a face that's unbelievable. It's a really great face. Probably had more fun working on this film than almost anything I've done. That was a long time ago. <laughs> but I've had fun on others, as you'll see. <laughs> Teach them what they don't know how I'm going to Jackson. You turn a loose of my coat. I love to work with people who respect film that presents life in an interesting way and, and who don't mind the dialogue telling everything that's going on. That's, that's another problem, the documentary habit of verite films, just following dialogue. You know, we'll tell the whole story with what these people are saying and what the situation, what they're saying verbally. Instead of, you know, I yell at them. I say, don't you ever go to movies? <laughs> I mean, movies, there's lots of mood. There's an awful lot of mood. And, you know, let people feel something, you know, about verbally informing them of everything, or, you know, or, or setting up everything. Movies don't set up. You know, good movies, they don't set up scenes. before. They throw you right into them. And that's why I like to edit documentaries. During the pure cinema verite days, in the early days of cinema verite, like in, in the 60s, there were purists who said, every time you make a cut, you're doing damage to the moment. Because the moment was very big then. I mean, the audiences felt it. The moment was important. They were so excited to see real life time. And so these people were like, you know, har <coughs> harangue other editors about it. And my feeling was, I let a shot play as long as it's saying something, and I'm interested in it, and it's being, you know, it's competent. But, uh, if I'm going to cut, I want to cut to something better than where, where we were just at. You know, I want to give the audience. Every cut's got to give the audience something. And that's the way I like to do it. And I've always done it, done it that way. Oh, to hear again the call. All is peace.